This week at Would You Bend, we've had some mannequin madness. Solly Joe starts by applying Dixie Bell paint in cotton to the whole of the mannequin. Then it's time to choose a posh chalk decoupage design. We decided to use the Hellenic vibes for this project and we'll be using the decoupage to replicate her clothing. Water is brushed onto the decoupage paper to help tear the design so it can be applied piece by piece. Solly carefully selects the segments making sure she doesn't ruin any of the pattern. Posh Chalk Infuser is applied as a base coat for the decoupage to help it adhere to the surface. Applying Posh Chalk Infuser on top of the decoupage is a great way to seal your project. A little blast with a heat gun allows the Posh Chalk decoupage and Posh Chalk Infuser to dry before it's time for the wood bend mouldings. Always use a good quality wood glue to attach your wood bend mouldings to your projects. We like to use tight bond, quick and thick. We pre-painted the wood bend trim TR33 and heated them up on a griddle so they are nice and bendy. When applying the wood bend trim, don't be scared to bring back the heating appliance if they start to cool down. The heat gives the wood bend trim the encouragement to bend into whichever shape you decide. Holding the wood bend trim in place will help it retain its shape as it cools down. Type 1 glue does dry clear, however we are removing the additional glue using a wet paintbrush. The same process is repeated for Wood Your Bend Trim TR12 as the trim starts to form the illusion of the mannequin's corset. Solly continues to paint the mannequin using Mud Puddle by Dixie Bell. By using the stippling technique, the paint will form more of an organic texture. Would you bend mouldings 1457 and 2169 are also being pre-painted using the colour Nautical by Dixie Bell. The mouldings are then placed on the griddle, ready for them to heat up. Once bendy, the glue is distributed over the back of the wood bend moulding, covering the whole surface area. This ensures that every part of the wood bend moulding is stuck to the project. The wood bend mouldings can be easily sliced while they are still warm using a Stanley knife. And now it's time for the posh chalk pigments. Our goal was to create a rose gold colour, so we mixed together pale gold and copper pigments along with the posh chalk infuser. The pigments are then used to highlight the mannequin's skin and give her the bronzed look. Solly mixes the white gold pigments and dry brushes them over each of the woodybone mouldings and trims. This helps highlight the mouldings intricate details. For the finishing details, shading is created using the Posh Talk Blue Prussian Patina around the edges of the woodybone trims. And Aqua Patina Blue Thalo to highlight the decoupage details. And just like that, our Greek goddess Athena is brought to life by using Woodgy Bend and Posh Chalk products. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe and let us know what you think in the comments.